The levels of success that you're gonna see as a self-taught programmer will heavily depend on how well and effectively you spent your study time, right? So you're not going to be going to a college, you're not gonna get a diploma, you're not gonna get any certificate. So you have to have some pretty good chops to get your first job. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're, the time you're using to study is spent most effectively. And in this video, I'm gonna focus on our three essential study habits for self-taught programmers to get the most out of the time that you're using. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first essential habit to implement is to make sure that you're regularly planning and preparing. So it's gonna be tempting as a self-taught programmer to just kind of dive in every single day. Chances are good that maybe you have a book sitting on your desk, maybe you have tutorials that you're ready to watch, or even projects that you're working on. And the temptation is just to kind of dive in every single day. But what that can lead to is a lot of busy work. Busy work meaning work that feels really good, but it's not actually moving you close to your goal. The cure for that is to make sure that you're regularly sitting down and preparing and planning what you're going to do and figuring out whether what you're doing is the right thing. So what I recommend for people is to make sure that at least one time per week you're sitting down for maybe 20 minutes and thinking, okay, am I on track with my bigger goals, right? Am I learning what I need to be learning? Maybe there's a specific programming language that you're learning and you can kind of figure out whether you're on track. Maybe you have some projects that you know you need to be working on and you've been avoiding them, but you can usually get a sense when you sit down once a week and try to figure out the high level stuff. Now, the other thing that you wanna do is on a daily basis, you wanna plan the day ahead. So before you start studying, you wanna figure out, okay, what is the study session going to entail? How is it going to help me to complete my weekly or monthly goal? And also it gives you some intent. So when you sit down to study, you know exactly what you need to do. So preparing and planning is not very fun. It feels like you're kind of wasting time, but it's really important to make sure that you're doing that on a regular basis. From there, the second essential habit is you want to focus on intensity versus duration when it comes to study time. I know I used to get into trouble with this. I used to study for maybe four or five or six hours straight. And while yes, I definitely felt like I was learning quite a bit, looking back on it, I definitely was not making the best use of my time. There was a diminishing return of my time at about the third or fourth hour because while I was sitting there and watching something or even trying to put together a project, I found that I was actually getting distracted a little too easy. Like it was a little too easy to go to YouTube or social media and start messing around there. But even more than that, I found that I was starting just to resent the process itself, meaning I didn't I didn't really look forward to sitting down studying because it was like, oh, I was gonna be here for four or five hours. So I started to change this up later on. I started to figure out that if I just hit things really hard, so I had maybe a one hour or two hour time block where I went really hard, I completely focused, I got a lot out of it because then I take a long break and maybe I come back later in the day and do another hour, but it was much better than sitting there for three or four hours where maybe the last two hours I didn't have my full attention. So those of you who are having those long study sessions, what I would recommend is try breaking them up and see if not only do you get more out of the study session, but do you actually look forward to studying more because you're not forcing yourself to sit there. And the third essential habit that I recommend is to ruthlessly cut out all distractions. So distractions are the antithesis of good study time because anytime that you get interrupted, when you're highly focused on something, you lose a little bit of that momentum and you have to build that back up. So you have to be very, very careful about having anything in your peripheral vision, anything that could make a sound that could distract you. So things I'm typically thinking about are your phone, uh, also email, also social media, anything that could interrupt you and take your attention away are very, very bad. You wanna avoid them. Another thing to think about with this is not just devices. I mean, that's the easiest thing to think of, but also think of the environment that you're in. So while it may be tempting to go to a coffee shop to study because you're getting away from your family or if you have roommates or something like that, what I have found is that it's super distracting. When people are walking by, I have this temptation to look. So for me, it's not a good place, but you obviously have to figure out what environments that is. So if you have a room in your house where you can study and get alone, or if you can get away anywhere where there's just not as many distractions. So those are really my three essential study habits for self-taught programmers. If you enjoyed the video, definitely go down below and comment and let me know what you thought. In addition to that, I've recently created a self-taught programmer study manual that's free for anybody who wants to download. I will leave a link of how you can access that down below here in the description. But uh, other than that, that's all I've really got for today. And thank you so much for watching.